Hey, Hickok 45 here. Haven't done a vlog for a while, so we thought we'd uh, do one. <laughs> About the time I sat down, guess who ended up in my lap? Uh, this was not staged. Uh, you don't have to stage a golden <laughs> to come and bother you. <laughs> Gunner, you're a character and a half. Uh, anyway, we uh, hadn't chatted with you for a while, other than the radio shows. Hope you're catching some of those, because I do talk about a lot of different uh, uh, stupid things on the radio shows. Hey, Gunner. Uh, but we appreciate uh, everything that uh, you guys are doing and subscribing and uh, watching and uh, you know the growth is still really really strong we're having fun still we uh, we're still able to get together and uh, John and uh, and I do some uh, videos just about whenever we want to uh, not quite as easy now but uh, we, we're having fun we just did a video uh, this afternoon it was, uh, it was fun to do we haven't done one in about a week so it's always fun to get together and shoot and uh, show you all a little shooting, maybe a different gun or maybe a s gun we've already shot, you know, and just uh, shoot it some more, something you like, something I like, right? Gunner. <laughs> but uh, anyway, things are uh, going really well. Uh, audience keeps getting bigger and uh, that's fun. Uh, maybe uh, a few thousand of you haven't seen any of these crazy uh, vlogs, vlogs as I call them, sitting over here in the woods. This is just kind of a chance to uh, chat with you. No guns that I'm actually uh, demonstrating, talking about, although I usually have one handy, right? Because you never know what might sneak up on John there holding a camera. There's some ugly looking uh, lifeless creatures over here sometimes and we have to take them out. And uh, usually Gunner spots them now, so that helps a lot. We feel that's safer with him around. But we do have a a uh, growing audience uh, continuing to grow and uh, we appreciate you guys helping out on the channel because you all that are watching uh, these and uh, listening to the radio shows especially you're uh, you're some of the most loyal and uh, most serious shooters most seriously interested in shooting at any rate and I know you're helping out uh, oh turn some of the goofy comments into spam or, or whatever and uh, letting people know they're being childish or or uh, a little juvenile at times, you know, we, we get you know, our fair share of that, like everybody does. The bigger we get, the more that we get. And I still solicit you guys to, uh, to help out when you can. I get a lot of requests to, to help in any way, uh, send things and all that, you know, that I have to turn down most of it, but so many requests. One of the ways you can help is to help me manage the comments and let me know if there's something just terrible, you know, somewhere. And uh, maybe even message some of these idiots and let them know they need to grow up sometime, you know. But uh, largely, you know, most things are positive and uh, people that are being constructive. What are you digging there, Gunner? Gunner's found a mole, probably, right under my, <laughs> right under my feet. <laughs> what a goofy dog. But uh, things are going well, and uh, you may have seen the pumpkin videos this, uh, this year. We were a little surprised with the pumpkin carving. Uh, that it, uh, it made the rounds again, not quite as big as last year. Uh, didn't make Leno this year, I guess, but uh, it was on a lot of websites and various TV shows. People have written to me and told me they've seen it here and there, either the pumpkin killing video or the, the carving video. We really, again, that's just a tradition, and we tend to use a different gun each year. I don't know what we could do. We're not really trying to make it more dramatic. We're not, you're not gonna see us carving our pumpkin next year from 100 yards or anything, or trying to. That is harder than it looks, even at close range. Uh, I have a feeling people probably tried that this year and it didn't go so well. I just have that, that feeling because whenever I do it, I'm reminded, I mean, you really have to focus, even from point blank range, because it's not like shooting steel or, or paper. You, know, you get one off, okay, it's, that's okay, I've got a nice group going, really impressive group, got one flyer maybe, and a lot of pumpkin face, you got one up in the forehead, you know, or something, it's, uh, you kind of ruined it. Uh, so I'm sure that happens to a lot of people because it, it, it could very easily happen to me or anybody. But, uh, but anyway, it's kind of neat. I, 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 I'm continue, I continue to be surprised that so many people need help carving pumpkins, you know? I mean, thousands and tens of thousands of people uh, see those videos and they circulate them around there uh, the TV shows pick them up and I don't know I didn't know I was a pumpkin carving expert I'm thinking about writing a book for next year I just didn't know there was such a void there but uh, I'm glad I can help you know 
the killing pumpkins is actually one of my favorites so i think that's a better video what do we call it the, the you know the drop in the anvil and all that stuff that's a great that's a great video i like that i can sit and watch that one uh, over and over uh, <laughs> gunner's gonna eat the logs as i was saying we get a lot of requests uh for people to send send things and i want to mention that again i apologize if you have sent something that you haven't seen uh, i mean i sort of apologize uh, you know, people are, are so good and, and they want to help out and then they also want their whatever it is uh, shown on uh, maybe on in a video if possible. I understand that. Uh, we have a lot of viewers. A lot of viewers <laughs> are watching Gunner be a goofball. But uh, uh, what I tell people, I thought maybe uh, just so you know, because uh, I have written, I need to put this in a template so I can just send it to people I guess but I tell everybody basically the same thing it wants to send something for use in a video or whatever it might be a holster a mag pouch or you name it uh, we get a lot of uh, offers and a lot of it I just say no I don't think I would probably use that or I, I probably wouldn't be interested don't don't waste it you know sending it to me because it would just sit in the barn that sort of thing or hang in the barn and I don't want people to develop animosity because they've sent me something and they never see it in the video. And I'm, that's going to happen anyway. Because what I tell folks is, you know, maybe it's a holster. Somebody's making holsters. They're making mag pouches. They're making some, some uh, piece of accessory. Uh, I have a standard answer. Uh, if it's something I have the potential to, to want to like or to use, uh, find useful, I'll say, well, send it if you want to. Uh, if it's something I like, uh, I'll, it may show up in a video. You know, I just, just, it may be a month from now, maybe six months from now, maybe a year from now. Uh, I'll try not to lose it. It'll be hanging in the reloading room or in the house or something somewhere, and I'll eventually maybe get around to it. I'll try it out and see if I like it. And if I like it, you know, it's, it's possibly will show up. That's kind of the way it is. We do not do infomercials, you know. So, uh, you know, we just don't do infomercials. Uh, there are some things, if I really like it, if somebody, and that has happened a time or two, if someone has sent us something that, uh, like the chest holster from, uh, from Diamond D Leather, custom leather, I guess, uh, you know, they wanted to send a chest holster, and I had been shopping for a chest holster. Yeah, I thought that'd be cool. Hey, I'll give them a little promo. So anyway, we, uh, we, we tell people, yeah, we, we'll mention it if we like it. And if it's something we're going to use, it'll probably show up in the video. Because I like to show a variety of guns, uh, you know, even holsters to some extent. I have my favorites, but if there's something kind of cool, I think you might like. So that's the other criteria. If I think that it's something I, I want to share with you all that, yeah, hey, here's a holster. I don't like it quite as well as what I'm using most of the time but it's pretty cool and it might be something you would like. So I'll, I'll give it a mention maybe, okay? And put a link in the description. You know, so we have other shooters in the neighborhood. Uh, it's a nice place to live. I think I ought to call and complain about the noise. But uh, anyway, that's kind of how we operate like that. Uh, we, uh, we just mainly, uh, when it comes to firearms especially, we, we, uh, we, we really want to not be uh, an infomercial, of course, but uh, we tend to review things we like, okay? So sometimes it might sound like that. I, uh, I get excited about firearms. You might have noticed that. And if it's a gun that's fun to shoot, I, uh, you know, I, I get excited. I can't help it. But the thing that I'm not interested in, there are guns out there I don't like. There are guns that I have no real interest in reviewing or shooting in a video because I know I'm going to be saying mostly negative things about them. And I don't want to be in the business of trashing some gun company. They may have their niche market, and they're doing just fine. And there are people who love those guns, uh, even if I don't. So, you know, it's like why call them up and, or go buy one and do a video with it uh, and act like it's a great gun, you know, if I don't really like it. I, I, I just have a hard time being, you know, disingenuous in, in that regard. I could be honest about it, you know, maybe, and, and do a little of that and say, I don't really like this, but there are some advantages to it for some people. I can try to be diplomatic, but by and large, I'm not interested in guns and uh, knives or, or anything that we do videos with. If I don't like our ammunition, or some ammunition I don't like, and I know it's gonna malfunction, I'm not gonna put it in a video just to show that. Now, we've had some things just happen, you know, in our little reality videos, I guess you'd say. Uh, but, uh, you yeah, know, that's your circumstances. 
Uh, but anyway, that's kind of what we operate, and uh, I just wanted to share some of that with you. The uh, <laughs> one thing I was going to mention too, I had on uh, my list of uh, things to talk about, was uh, uh, some of the comments. Uh, there's, you know, and I've mentioned this in a radio show about people who will come in and comment about comparing other YouTubers or saying something about another uh, YouTuber, another gun, you know, uh, YouTuber. Gunner, you're going to dig a, what are you going to dig out down there, buddy? And, uh, and that's, that's fine. I tend to delete most of that stuff. I don't want ever to end up with a long conversation or uh, some kind of controversial stuff about uh, who's better at this and who's worse at this. That, that's stupid. I have respect for everybody who does gun videos and uh, they're working hard at it. And uh, so are we when we do it. We actually, we work hard at it. I spend a lot of hours a day answering your messages, but the actual videos, we, we don't work that hard on a lot of them. We just have fun shooting and John records it. He does some really hard work on the edited ones for sure. But we, uh, by and large, we just, the, the videos is, uh, I don't know, a lot, a lot of that is not that hard really when you get right down to it. We kind of decide what we're gonna do, what we're gonna shoot, and let's go do it. You know, so that's, that's fun. Uh, and everybody's doing their thing. Everybody's doing their thing. We've been doing what we do for three years now, uh, actually for about 20 years, but we've been filming it for about three years. We uh, we do a variety of things. Yeah, we uh, hopefully most of it's educational. And I think when you factor in the uh, correspondence factor uh, that I that I am engaged in every day. Uh, hopefully that's very educational, but also the videos are educational, I think, for the most part. But then again, we like to throw in some fun and, you know, shoot up uh, some pumpkins or shoot up some two liters. And uh, if we get our hands on some sexy gun, you know, that shoots fully automatic, bring that to you as well occasionally. So we really haven't changed our style. We may have a 500 Magnum, you know, one month. We may have a, a, a Desert Eagle the next month. Still got the Desert Eagle. Uh, you know, that we'll shoot up some stuff or shoot long range with. So we try to give you some variety. Now we may have a string of videos for a week or two that seem similar, but uh, it's just kind of the way things run. And then uh, we'll do something totally different. You know, just by the luck of the draw, uh, weather, availability of firearms, uh, uh, John and I being able to get together a certain time. It just it just kind of depends. So, so anyway, uh, not trying to make excuses for anything we do, we just kind of do what we do, and uh, most of you seem to like it, so not apologizing for anything, but it's a good time in a, a setting a video like this to talk about things like that. But, but anyway, I kind of uh, digress there a little bit. I do delete comments uh, lots of times about other YouTubers, unless it's a, a compliment, a really strong compliment, and then sometimes I'm a little bit wary, because you know someone else can come and go, well, what do you mean? He's great. He's an idiot, you know, and that, that invariably comes along and then it gets into a, a discussion and argument about that, you know. I don't know, I just feel unprofessional if I allow that stuff on, on my channel. Uh, and I, I'm assuming my fellow YouTubers uh, don't allow that on theirs, you know. But uh, I don't. Whatever they do, I don't. So if you see a comment deleted, uh, that, like I said in a radio show, you may not know why I deleted it, but there may even be a reason that I won't talk about that I deleted it, and I, I, I won't go into that, but there are different things. I'd rather not be brought up, uh, maybe in the interest of uh, gun rights or what we're doing, uh, continuing, or, uh, you know, or like I said, I, it still strikes me as unprofessional to allow any kind of negative comments and, and uh, discussions about other YouTubers that goes one way or the other and eventually ends up negative because somebody doesn't like anybody that's out there, right? There are people who don't like me and uh, that's just that's just life. So I just delete a lot of that. Uh, everybody's doing what they do. We've met uh, a lot of the other YouTubers, uh, met FPS Russia, you know, great guy. You know, he does what he does. We do what we do. And, uh, you know, some people like us, some people don't like us. And a lot of people like him. Maybe someone wants to criticize him. Yeah, anyway, I, yeah, I, I ramble too much about all that, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, by the way, I wanted to throw out a thanks while we're doing a uh, vlog to the Jolton Gun Shop. You know, they, uh, they help us with firearms at times. Some firearms I don't have, really don't intend to get, and uh, they'll have a firearm. It's kind of neat. Uh, they, uh, there are a couple others that they have down there I want to I shoot. Uh, the Uzi recently that uh, we borrowed, that was kind of fun. 
That was fun. Getting back to the old Uzi, I hope you saw those vids, but I think we've got another one we haven't posted yet, but uh, it's really a neat gun. It's a brick, <laughs> kind of heavy, but a sweet shooter. A lot of people have commented how slow the uh, rate of fire is on those things. I tell you what, I like a slower rate of fire on those guns. Uh, to me, they're actually more effective. You know, if you empty that magazine, you know, it's gone. I don't know. I guess there's an application for that, too. But I tell you, it's really nice to be able to just sit there and hold that thing on and, you know, it just keeps pumping them out. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But anyway, we appreciate that from the, the guys at Jolton down there. And uh, I don't know. I have any other lies I wanted to tell you. We're still having fun, and uh, we're trying to throw in some variety and trying to do some things. We're going to do some more cleaning videos. I think, of course, now the weather's catching up with us, but uh, we're going to try to do a cleaning video or two here. Get a lot of requests for that. And we've got a lot of guns we've just brought out one time, you know, we just haven't gotten back to. I'm thinking of the Taurus Judge and, you know, the May 14, just uh, several guns. So, uh, anyway, we're going to be doing some more videos and we're going to make you watch them. We've got a new program that forces you to watch them. So, uh, sorry about that, but, you know, if we're going to do these videos, we've got to use the latest technology controlling technology. I think it's called the viewer controller. We got it at Best Buy, so get ready for that. Sorry about that, but you know, we just couldn't resist. And I hope you're getting around to see a lot of the vids. Uh, I get uh, messages every now and then, uh, questions, well not every now and then, every day, uh, that's where it's obvious that someone hasn't seen some fairly recent videos or uh, the, read the FAQs. So anyway, if you're watching this, you probably have read the homepage and you've seen the FAQs, but I encourage you to, to look through those and, uh, and again, help me answer some of the people that ask those things, you know, like, have you ever been to military, Hickok? You know, uh, most of you have been around a while, no answers to a lot. What's your favorite gun, and the usuals, or when are you going to do a video on your gun collection? All those things I've done FAQs on, so uh, you could help me there maybe. And some of you loyal viewers and supporters, then we do appreciate you. We have a lot of fun. Uh, appreciate you all. Appreciate what John does. Appreciate uh, all the other YouTube channels. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good group of people for the most part. Uh, I think we're doing a lot for the Second Amendment and for uh, promoting the, the sport, the hobby. We want to continue doing that. So anyway, it's been great talking to you. I think we lost Gunner, so maybe I'll take a shot. Your quiz for the day, what kind of firearm is that? You might already know. <laughs> Life is good.